We're going to move to really the method, the method that's called social presencing theater. And so we're applying some of this mindfulness of body and awareness of the social body to specific uh, situations, specific cases. So um, in the beginning, to do the practice, which we call the stuck exercise, you need a place in your work life or your life in which you feel stuck, which means that what you're trying to create is kind of not moving forward. And there could be external forces that are holding it down or stretching it too thin or blocking its way. Or it could be internal forces. Doesn't make any difference. But you have a feeling of what it, the texture and the quality of what it feels like to you in your specific situation to feel stuck. Is there anybody that doesn't have a stuck that needs, they could take one of mine, for instance, or, <laughs> <laughs> or you could share your stuck with someone else. Okay. So here's what you're going to do, the stuck. It's like, this is, um, you're going to, so you are not your stuck, let's say, but everybody has a stuck. So what you, I'm going to ask you to do is show your stuck to the others in the group. So for instance, one of my stucks looks like this. You don't need to tell you the stuck, but I, I tell you that there's something about my stuck that's like this, pulling down. And then there's also something about my stuck that's p like this. And the focus, let's see, where I'm focused is kind of confused, like I'm, I'm maybe looking between the two. So this is what my stuck feels like. Is that clear? Um, another one of my stucks might be like this. Okay, so it's, it's something that embodies what it feels like in some circumstances in my life that I'm in now. Okay, so just if each of you, here's the pattern. Person one gets up, shows their stuck to the others, whatever it is. Take your time with it, you know, it doesn't need to be, um, you know, it's better not to go. <laughs> but take a little time so actually people can see it. And seeing is not just the eye. Seeing means how does it feel? How does that stuck feel? Because we can feel it, right? Kinesthetics is that you can feel, you know, that's why one of the reasons why athletics is so popular. You know, you've, you've never done this yourself, but I can feel what that would feel like physically. So you make your stuck and give everybody, uh, be generous so that everybody has a moment to see it and feel it. Then you just sit down. There's a little gap there, a little pause. Then person two gets up and shows their stuck. Whatever it is, right, they show their stuck. Then they sit down. There's a little pause. Then next person. Make sure you leave the pause there so that there's a, an echo or a, a felt sense of the shape, that everybody gets a chance to feel it. When everybody's done, then you have a few minutes. Again, I'm going to impress upon you that this whole thing is not going to take very long. You show, sit down, little pause, and then a little bit of time to talk. It is not a situation where each person is going to say something about everybody's stuck. I'm, there's not going to be time for that. Now, the way we talk about this movement work is as important as doing it. So, you've seen this before, right? I saw, this is what I saw. When I saw you raise your hand here, you can say, I saw. You can say, I felt. 
This is on sensing, right? I felt something. Or you can say, I did, but in this particular case, I don't want you to talk about what you did. Just say, I saw or I felt. Don't talk about your own. You know, you did your own, so that's great. But this three ways of speaking is important rather than to interpret right away what the meaning is or what you, what you think this might have meant about whatever. But stick to the raw data. I saw this, I felt this. Is that clear? So it doesn't take too much time. Make sure that everybody gets a little bit of feedback on theirs, but not going around the room doing everybody. The entire thing, when you start, do and talk, will be 10 minutes long.